I'm going to show you guys how you can park your car without damaging your gearbox over time. Whether it's automatic or manual gearbox. So there are some things people do and uh, it affects the gearbox and they have no idea they are the one doing it. So I'm going to show you how to prevent such things from happening. Um, I'm starting with automatic gearbox. So, um, let's see. Uh, this is a Pojo automatic gearbox, uh, one of the Pojo cars. So I can see here, the car is already unpacked. Anyway, so um, if you if you driving probably to a place and you want to park the vehicle, um, for example, uh, the car is on D right now, it's on drive, and the handbrake is down. So I, if I let's assume I've driven to a place where I want to park the car. So what you do first is this. Of course, to move the transmission, to move the gear lever, you always press the brake, the brake pedal. So the first thing you do is you draw the handbrake. This is the handbrake. You pull it up. Pull it up. Then you shift the gear lever to pack. <coughs> Always make sure the gear lever is on pack before you release the brake pedal. Okay, let me do it. It's on drive right now and the handbrake is down. So you can either shift it to pack before you put the handbrake or you put the handbrake first before you shift it to park and then you release the brake pedal. The reason for doing this is so, so that the, the weight of the vehicle will rest on the handbrake and not on the gear. I will explain why, why, I, uh, why you have to let the vehicle rest on the brake and not the gear. So after I'm done with um, the the manual. I want to show you guys how to do it on manual transmission as well. Okay. Uh. <coughs> okay yeah. Um. This is another position car with manual gearbox. Now. And these are uh, the brake pedals. So, um, the damn brake is done now. So let's assume I'm, I just drove into this place. Uh, it's on gear one right now. And I want to park the vehicle. As you can see, first thing you do is you make sure the brake pedals, the brake pedal, the coach is pressed down to the floor. Why the brake pedal? It's also depressed. Then, as it's on gear one, now, what you do is either you put it on manual, the on neutral, then pull the handbrake up, or while it's on gear one, then you pull the handbrake up before you release both the clutch and the brake. But personally, what I do is I put the handbrake with the brake pedal and the crush, the press. Then I I leave it on my, even if it's on my auto, on gear one, I put it back on neutral. And then release the brake pedals, the brake pedal and the crush pedal. Why I do this is so that the brake, the entire vehicle will rest on the brake pedal and not on the transmission. The weight of the car needs to rest on the brake, not on the transmission. But if you if you leave, if you pull, right now it's on gear one, and the handbrake is down. So if you release the brake pedal and the crush before pulling the handbrake, you can see what will now happen is the, the entire weight of the car will rest on the gear. Even if after pulling the, the brake pedal, the brake pedal is no longer do, the, the brake is no longer doing the work, it's no longer holding the vehicle. It's the gear that is doing the work. 
What happens then is this. The next morning, we'll find out that the brake, the hand brake, the, the gear lever will be very, very difficult to, to pull out from gear one. Likewise, the automatic transmission, it will be very, sometimes it will be very hard to shift it from park to drive or reverse or whichever gear you want to use first when you start the vehicle. And this place, it, it, it places a lot of strain inside gearbox, especially the input spine or input shaft of panel gearbox and then some other mechanical parts in automatic gearbox. Yes, I understand. The manual gearbox can take some of this stress, but over time it can affect the the gearbox cables, gearbox and lever cables, and it could also make your input shaft wobble while while engine is at idle. The same as well, automatic gearbox. Over time, it affects some of the internal components inside the gearbox. So. These are tips not a lot of people do not know. So I would suggest you don't uh, damage your gearbox. It, it doesn't matter whether it's manual or automatic. Always make sure your handbrake is up before you release the brake pedal. At what, whichever gear it is, reverse, man, uh, neutral, gear 1, gear 3, gear 2, even automatic, whichever one. Always hold your handbrake. But, pull up the always press down the brake pedal then pull up the handbrake first before you release the brake pedal so that the entire vehicle weight will rest on the brake and not on the transmission i hope this video helps thanks for watching